ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Max with Mira Tech Talk, back with another video. And uh, this is Buying from Gazelle, part two. So I made a video a couple months back where I bought an iPhone SE from Gazelle, excellent condition, unlocked for right around 150 bucks. And I was, I guess I was expecting less from what I actually got in the sense that I wasn't expecting the battery to have 100% capacity when I received it. Everything looked basically in brand new condition. And what I have today is last year's iPhone XS Max, the larger model. And uh, again, this is from Gazelle, just like the last time. Thank you, enjoy your new device. We think you'll find pre-owned gadgets are pretty awesome. And if my experience from last time is any uh, gauge for that, I would tend to agree. So you get a generic lightning cable that's branded for Gazelle. And one of their proprietary, well, not even proprietary, it's just a USB-C brick, or U I'm sorry, a regular <laughs> USB brick I believe this is a 5 watt charger, it's got Gazelle branding on it. So what I bought this time, like I said, is a Verizon iPhone XS Max. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up and see how the condition is. So. So I paid for one in excellent condition, and, oh, why is there plastic in there? Weird. So it looks pretty good. I'm a little concerned, why is there a piece of, um, plastic lodged in there. I guess that's, there's a little gap that can happen, but it's so weird. Like a little bit of plastic just stuck in there. Hmm. All right, well, aside from that, the screen looks good. Let's go ahead and power this on. So I'm looking for a couple of things. Uh, I want to see what the battery capacity is. I want to just check, like I said, overall condition. I don't really see any scarring or scratches or score marks against the frame of the phone. Looks pretty good. The screen looks all right. I'm going to set this up manually. All right. go ahead and get this set up all right so you might be wondering um, I paid for excellent condition I paid five right around five hundred dollars for this it was just like after tax and shipping it was about 510 and I paid for like the highest condition which is excellent and um, so far let me just go ahead and Set this up. So after I'm done setting all this up, I'm going to just run some checks. Like I said, I want to see what the uh... oh, I guess you have to. I have to? No, I guess I do. There used to be an option where you didn't have didn't require you to do it, but okay. Alright, just gonna set this up as a brand new device, get through all this junk, set up later in settings, don't use. Agree to terms I didn't read. Yeah. 
Yeah, why not? And I generally prefer dark mode. Standard is fine. Yeah, touch. All right. So we're in. I want to test the camera, just make sure everything's working properly. All right, so the telephoto is working. Let's... All right, the zoom's working as it should. Portrait mode. All right, camera works. Oh, right, I wanted to check the battery. So, if you ever want to check capacity of a battery on any iPhone that's running a current operating system, just uh, go to your menu, scroll down where it says battery, and then just tap on battery health. Wh wow, okay, that's 100%. I am um, almost wondering if they refurbish this and just put a new battery in, which I'm fine with. It's just, um, that might explain why the plastic's there, but the condition's fine. Um, let me just, Okay, so I'm generally happy with what Gazelle puts out. Um, to me, uh, for what you're spending compared to what a new iPhone costs these days, um, especially if you want an upper end model and you maybe you don't want to spend as much, you don't want to spend the thousand dollars buy in for an iPhone 11 Pro. This is only last year's model. I mean, they're supporting. The iPhone 6s still, that's going to get iOS 14. So that's saying something. But man, I wish I could get that little piece of plastic out. That's really bugging me. I don't know if you can even see it, but there's like a little piece of something here that's wedged between the screen and the frame. And it just looks like a little piece of cellophane plastic. I'm really not sure why it's even there. But anyway. So, overall impressions, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, no cracks, no frame damage, screen looks good. Um, the only question about it is the battery, if it was replaced or not. I really don't have a way to know that, but you know, I'm showing here 100% capacity, so this is a, definitely a new battery. Um, other than that, so, like I said, if you want to save some money, Gazelle is pretty good. Um, they got my seal of approval. Their um, return policy, they give you 30, if you don't like what they sent you, they give you 30 days to give them a, send them an email and say, hey, can I return this? And they'll go, yeah. And, um, yeah, like I said, I'm happy with it. So, uh, if you want to see more videos like this, um, where I review used products or renewed products uh, definitely let me know in the comment section um, be curious to know if you're interested to see if these companies are putting out quality used items and in this case I would definitely agree yes it is a quality used item so let me know in the comments uh, thanks for watching if you liked the video hit that up like you know thumbs up and if you didn't like it thumbs down um, and if you really liked it, subscribe. And by the way, um, if you notice the screen's a little blurry, uh, I've been trying to autofocus it. I'm recording this on a Galaxy S20 Ultra and using the wide angle, but I'm still surprised it's coming up this blurry on the screen because it does, in, in real life, it doesn't look like this. Yeah, you know, just, as a, just quickly. See, now it's fine, mostly. I don't know what that haloing is from, but anyway, if you like the video, <laughs> thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.